How you doing, fight fans? Is EJ Boxing live here, um, Orlando, Florida? Watching um, here to watch a lightweight contest between Felix Verdejo and Sir Sergio uh, Villueda. Um, I let them MC Master Ceremony do the introductions, and um, and I'll pick it up from there. All right. Ocho vueltas en la división peso ligero. This bout, eight rounds in the lightweight division. Executive matchmaker Brad the Eighth, Warm Goodman. Los jueces son the judges are Mark Streisand, Alex Levin, and Toby Tamarkin. El tercero sobre la superficie, el referee Frank Centaur. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, México y Puerto Rico. Presentando la esquina azul, introducing the blue corner, vestido del tricolor mexicano, verde, blanco y rojo, except somewhere in the colors of Mexico, green, white and red, su peso oficial, 133 libras y un cuarto, his official weight, 133 and one quarter pounds, en 32 combates a nivel profesional, bueno, mantiene un récord de 26 victorias, con cuatro derrotas, dos empates y 13 de sus victorias por la vía del cloroformo en 32 bouts as a pro. He has 26 victories against four losses, two draws, and 13 of those victories coming by way of KO. Radicando en Fort Myers, La Florida. Y puro Tepic, Nayarit, Mexico. Venezuela, Villanova, um, the rule. Keep your gloves here. The referee. Your belts where they're supposed to be. Good luck, guys. Questions? Good luck, guys. Nah, man. Mexico and Puerto Rico. As you know, man, Felix Vallejo. There's a stats on Felix Vallejo. He's 21 years old. Sergio Valenzuela, uh, 23. Um, there you got the height. Vallejo, uh, five foot nine. Um, Valenzuela, five foot ten. Like more or less, is, more or less is, is, is not much. You can see, um, basically, you can see like um, Felix Vallejo's got got mostly the stats going his way and that height reach going his way. All right, round one, fight fans. Here in Orlando, Florida, for this um, versus Mexico versus Puerto Rico. The rivalry's been going on for many years. Go down the road. Um, Julio Cesar Chavez versus Hector Macho, Hector Macho Camacho. Um, Salvador Sanchez versus uh, Gomez. And, and many rivalries have gone down the road. Oscar De La Hoya versus Phoenix Trinidad. Um, many rivalries. Phoenix Trinidad versus Fernando Vargas. And let's, let's go into the round one. So we'll be seeing it. Phoenix Videjo, uh, Videjo pumping his dad. Whoa, whoa. Quick hands by the. Uh, by, by, uh, Videjo, quick hands. Wait, wait, that's still, still, still the same. It's the first round. So this is the feeling now. Scheduled for eight rounds um, in the lightweight division. None the hottest prospects in boxing finish for Dejo. A lot of people eager, man, and saying he's the next Trinidad and next um, like Cotto type of guy. To me, he's got the 
kind of face like Ivan Carnival. He looks like Ivan Carnival kind of thing. I don't know if they're related or anything like that. As you see, the crowd is, 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 uh, the crowd is rapturous between the Mexico and the Puerto Rico fans. You can see the rivalry. It means a lot. Both of them fighting cautiously right now. Whoa! But there with a big left hook. Catches with a winner as he comes in. Just to let him know what's going on. And you can see the hand speed already and the power of it. And the, the hand speed, look at that beautiful jab to the stomach. Beautiful, beautiful, man, beautiful. And you see Fidea Vihelda just taking his time, taking his time. Left hook, right hand, and he catches him flush. <laughs> but he really had to catch it, he got it called flush there. Right now he's just getting out of class right now and he hasn't landed no noble punch been, uh, And you see the day hold this, this controlling the ring Controlling, controlling everything here Beautiful boxing right now, beautiful display of boxing Like that, the professional is well past his years Young, young prospect, top prospect from Puerto Rico it's definitely the real deal from what I'm seeing. I mean, you can say like he maybe needs to step up in competition, but boy, in the lightweight division, you, I don't know who can live with this guy. You've got some Terrace Crawford, um, you've got um, people like that in, in the weight class and stuff like that. Maybe um, a Raymond Belcham type of fight, that would be interesting, or Hank Lundy. But tell you what, man, th listen, this kid right now at 21 years old is, is the real deal. He's definitely putting in, putting in some work here. As you can see, he's got lightning speed with reach. Height and wide, he, and he uses everything, man. He's a classic boxer, man. Trinidad type of guy, but a little better for kind of better footwork than Trinidad. Seems so just there popping the jab. He just took, oh, look at that. Get the counter left and a right hand, and he tries to clue the show in the first round, and that's it. That's in the books. That's that for the day around. But the day around, and you see Willow in there, he's gonna have to do something there. You can see him, see what the corner's gonna say in the corner. Francisco Reyes, um, head coach there. Takes out his mouthpiece. I wonder what they're gonna say in the corner. Can I tell you what, mate? He got out class there, and there's more of that coming in the second round. I can tell you that right now, mate. Second round here in Orlando, Florida. Nah, wait, at this point, you wish you could speak Spanish. Eh? But Ricardo Marquez, uh, head coach for Phoenix Vitejo. Look at this kid. He literally even look like a boxer. Let's go to the replays anyway. Look at that. Cow left hand and the right hook. And you can see, look, when the see, he, 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 he acknowledged that he got tagged there. He acknowledged it. Look at that. And you see right there with his shotgun, shotgun drab. Just keep pushing it out, pushing it out. At the minute, he hasn't pushed it out yet, but he will. Be. And as he's trying to catch him, there you go. That's a shotgun jab I'm talking about. Just keep pumping it, pumping it, you know, and that's the fundamentals of boxing. Keep your hands up, pop your jab, and you can see he doesn't take much punches, man. Hand high, high, guys, so he's got, he can read the punches. Look, see there? You can see the punches coming, and he can just pick them off of the guard as the person for the punches. Defensive match right now, but they are winning the battle. See, look at that. Big swinging, left hook, counter, pumping the jab. The jab and the thing is, oh look at that stuck to the pit of the stomach. And the thing is, the jab here yeah, is not like he's not popping it out like he's not. He's popping out with real bad intentions, venom, and using it as a real weapon, not to range fire, and actually using it as just to drop the drop, drop um for the way of head back. And you see the Mexico and, and Puerto Rico, they have a fierce rivalry. And you see, no one wants to lose this bit. Oh my, day, look at that. Look at that. Left hook to the body and to the head and, 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 and quick. Lightning style. The Dejo controlling the ring. Again, right uppercut. Pop the jab. See if, see if, uh, see if uh, Villarreal can do anything about it. Because at the minute he's been outclassed and he hasn't done anything right now. He's just following uh, the Dejo around the ring and he's just getting picked up with shots. And a beautiful performance by Videjo. Look at that. He's getting picked off by the shotgun jab. Pumping it out. Look at this. There. They uppercut. Look at that. Right uppercut. Right in the chin. Goes to the body again as he comes in and he advances. Look at that. And the high guard. Beautiful defense. And there's nothing there. As soon as he gets his shots off, he just shows no. There's no target for uh, the way up. Goes to the body. That's his first notable punch there. And it's not having too much effect. Venezuela. Uh, you see Videjo. See that? Still placing the jab on, 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 on Villarreal's jaw. And all he's doing right now is just following him around the ring and not really doing anything. 
Like, and that's because he's, he's, he's not too shit. Oh, he caught, oh, he caught Vidal with a right hand. And Vidal, hey, Vidal acknowledged that he got caught with a right hand there. Good timing by uh, Venezuela. Sergio, and he's trying to do it again. He's trying to land the right hand again. You see how the young prospect uh, reacts to that. Their left, counter left hook. Venezuela acknowledges that. Two, of <laughs> two of them putting on, two of them putting on, showing some machismo here. As you expect from Puerto Rico and, 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 and Mexico. There you again. There's a Villarreal's right hand again. Uh, Vidal's left hook. Vidal moving around. The jab. Still winning the ring. Still for me. He's still winning. Ten seconds left of the eight second round for the, in this lightweight contest in Orlando, Florida. I'm EJ Boxing live here. Hope you guys are enjoying this performance from the young top prospect from Phoenix Vidal. All right, so we're in round three of this lightweight contest and the young career. Look, he switched he from Vinicius today, and I think he switched stance. And I think the young kid is—he switched stance on us. Oh, he's got, he's got, he's got hey, a bit of versatility here. He switched stances now, and he's firing from the southpaw stance as well. It's not just that he's just posing with it; he's actually firing off on it. So he's using his right hand and his best hand and his left hand to be the detonator. Look at his there, so he's popping the right hand now, and that would normally be his detonating hand. And now he's using that as his range finder. And now he's popping left. And now they're rolling. But the hey, but the wheeler now he's thinking, what's going on here? The kid, young kid, switched southpaw on him. And he's trying to find, he's firing back. We're in the third round, Orlando, Florida. And you see Villarreal, he's all trouble now. He's having trouble in him in a normal start. All flops. Now the Venezuela referee's trying to keep the punches up to the touch gloves. Villarreal trying to answer his back with his right hand, his own right hand here. Pretty hot and, and intense rivalry, these two in. You see that? Definitely don't want to lose. As you can see at the start of the fight, that both of them was in it. Jacked up. You know? But no, how these are both young. The Dejo, with all the promise in his career. Look at that. Whoa! But the way they acknowledge that, he missed that. But the way they were still moving in, getting closer. This is where he wants the Dejo right now. He needs to let his hands go if he wants to do anything. Oh my god! Look at that! Are you serious? What a left hook! And the fight is over! Trust me! Oh! He fell down again! Oh my gosh! I've never seen nothing like that before. Oh, that was dis- Oh my days, that was disgusting. What a cow left hook and he just killed him and wiped him out. And that's the end of the fight. And Sergio Villarreal is dead, left on the canvas now, now in, a, in, a, in a puddle. Oh my days, what a devastating left hook. And you gotta be this kid, this kid is something special, man. This kid is gonna be something special. I mean, he completely dominated the all three rounds I gave to him, but that, that to finish the fight, he closed the show in spectacular fashion. I'd like to see that in the replay again, and he's really hurt. And I wonder if the kid's going to even continue his career at this point. Devastating. What a devastating punch. I've never seen that. One punch, one of the most devastating punch I've seen this year, one year. I see Carl Frotch's punch of George Groves. That was devastating one punch in British Boston history. But that one there, that might be the punch of the year, man. That was, wow. Wow, well, he's got some marks there. You can see he was getting hit there on his left side. You can see he was taking some sort of punches. They're not much though. But bloody hell, what a punch, man! There you go. And they call now his nickname there, the fans, man. Oh, that was that was serious. Oh, that shot me from here. Here we go. Go to the replay. I see Vidal moving around. And you see uh, Venezuela me trying to land his left hook and hit bang, and he got caught. As he's throwing his punch with a left hook and he falls on the bottom of the rope and the court falls on the last rope in the ring and look at this look at how devastating he tries to get up look at that he's got nothing left in his leg and the referee wisely wisely wisely, wisely waves that off and he falls back down into another corner from from the bottom of the rope to the ring all the way to look at this cow up bang and the thing it was it was explosion look at that he's out on his feet at this point here he don't breathe even to get up at this point so i can tell you that but yeah nothing left man look at those women covering their heads look at the woman in the crowd you see her reaction oh look at her looking around that's exactly how i felt mate when i saw that i was scared look at this kid don't even know what happened there you know he's comfortable look at that he's rocked up his confidence i don't know what he's gonna do now man mexico and puerto rico rivalry and everyone in his corner his brother and family members man they're putting the ice on his back and that drinking water but Bloody hell, man. This is the fight game, man. This is what you can get when you go in there, man. 
I'll tell you, man, that's some. That's like a career ending punch right there, man. A career ending punch. Yeah, we go back in again. Look at the people. You need to look at the people in the crowd here. Look at it. So, Venezuela throw his left hook. And now, watch this. Counter left hook. Bang! Look at the people. Look at the people in the crowd. That guy with the white, the guy with the white t-shirt and the New York hat. He's like, look at that. People, look at that. <laughs> hey, I tell you what. When Madejo comes to New York, is often popping. I can tell you when he comes to the Barclays Center, this kid's often popping. Look at that. Look at the look at the look at him with the crowd. Oh my days, man. Look at this. At this point, referee waves it off. Now, they're not doing that. Now he falls into the other corner. Look at this. Oh my days, man. There you go, Phoenix Vadejo, something special from Puerto Rico. This kid is something special, man. And we're gonna go to the master ceremonies to, um, to announce him the winner. Oh man, here we go. Caballeros, este duelo concluye de forma dramática con un tiempo oficial de un minuto 57 segundos del tercer asalto. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a sudden and dramatic end with an official time of one minute 57 seconds of round number three. Your winner, by way of knockout, el vencedor por knockout. Vadejo, ah, I tell you, man, that I'm gonna be tracking this career. I'll be tracking this career from here on out, mate. And I'm telling you, man, he's one to watch. Look at this. Vidal went for his left hook, and then the counter left hook from Vadejo, and the kid's sleeping on the canvas. Look at that. Now, yeah, to be honest, you be fair, he did get up. To be fair, he did get up. But look at everyone. This kid is something special, and I, well, you guys need to be checking him out. I'm gonna be watching his career. So. From EJ Boxing Live, I'll catch you next one. Peace! EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here. Mustard Douglas, knock him out. Mustard Douglas, the fat bump, the leather Douglas. Yo, this is Chris Caban, chilling with my man EJ Boxing Live, one of the hottest, dopest boxing channels on YouTube. Check him out. Boxing beats and rounds on the EJ Live YouTube channel. Theo was uh, the number 10 rating contender, and he had never been knocked down. And Sonny destroyed his mouth. But Theo lost most of his team, basically with one or two left hooks. Oh, shit, boy. What was look at kids sleeping like Manny Pacquiao? EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here.